It Tech 3, popularly known as the Quake 3 Arena Engine, is a game engine developed by id Software for their video game Quake 3 Arena. It has been adopted by numerous games. During its time, it competed with the Unreal Engine. Both engines were widely licensed. While id Tech 3 is based on id Tech 2 Engine, a large amount of the code was rewritten. Successor id Tech 4 was derived from id Tech 3. At QuakeCon 2005, John Carmack announced that the id Tech 3 source code would be released under the GNU General Public License, and it was released on August 19, 2005. The code can be downloaded from its GitHub account. Features equals Graphics equals, Unlike most other game engines released at the time a Euro including its primary competitor, the Unreal Engine, it Tech 3 requires an OpenGL compliant graphics accelerator to run. The engine does not include a software renderer. It Tech 3 introduced spline based curved surfaces in addition to planar volumes, which are responsible for many of the surfaces present within the game. Shaders The graphical technology of the game is based tightly around a shader system where the appearance of many surfaces can be defined in text files referred to as shader scripts. Shaders are described and rendered as several layers, each layer contains a texture, a blend mode, which determines how to superimpose it over the previous layer and texture orientation modes such as environment mapping, scrolling, and rotation. These features can readily be seen within the game with many bright and active surfaces in each map and even on character models. The shader system goes beyond visual appearance, defining the contents of volumes, light emission and which sound to play when a volume is trodden upon. In order to assist calculation of these shaders, it Tech 3 implements a specific fast inverse square root function, which attracted a significant amount of attention in the game development community for its clever use of integer operations. Video In-game videos all use a proprietary format called ROQ, which was originally created by Graham Devine, a co-designer of Quake 3, for the game The Eleventh Hour. Internally ROQ uses vector quantization to encode video and DPCM to encode audio. While the format itself is proprietary it was successfully reverse engineered in 2001, and the actual ROQ decoder is present in the Quake 3 source code release. ROQ has seen little use outside games based on the Tech 3 or Tech 4 engines, but is supported by several video players and a handful of third-party encoders exist. Models it Tech 3 loads 3D models in the MD3 format. The format uses vertex movements as opposed to skeletal animation in order to store animation. The animation features in the MD3 format are superior to those in Tech 2's MD2 format because an animator is able to have a variable number of keyframes per second instead of MD2's standard 10 keyframes per second. This allows for more complex animations that are less shaky than the models found in Quake 2. Another important feature about the MD3 format is that models are broken up into three different parts which are anchored to each other. Typically, this is used to separate the head, torso and legs so that each part can animate independently for the sake of animation blending. Each part of the model has its own set of textures. The character models are lit and shaded using Gorod shading while the levels are lit either with light maps or Gorod shading depending on the user's preference. The engine is able to take colored lights from the light grid and apply them to the models, resulting in a lighting quality that was, for its time, very advanced. In the GPLED version of the source code, most of the code dealing with the MD4 skeletal animation files was missing. It is presumed that it simply never finished the format, although almost all licensees derived their own skeletal animation systems from what was present. Ritual Entertainment did this for use in the game, Heavy Metal, FAKKR Squared, the SDK to which formed the basis of MD4 support completed by someone who used the pseudonym Gongo. Dynamic Shadows, the engine is capable of three different kinds of shadows. One just places a circle with faded edges at the character's feet, commonly known as the blob shadow technique. The other two modes project an accurate polygonal shadow across the floor. The difference between the latter two modes is one's reliance on opaque, solid black shadows while the other mode attempts to project depth past stencil shadow volume shadows in a medium transparent black. 
neither of these techniques clip the shadow volumes, causing the shadows to extend down walls and through geometry. Other rendering features, other visual features include volumetric fog, mirrors, portals, decals, and waveform vertex distortion. Equals sound equals, it tech 3 sound system outputs to two channels using a looping output buffer, mixed from 96 tracks with stereo spatialization and Doppler effect. All of the sound mixing is done within the engine, which can create problems for licensees hoping to implement EAX or surround sound support. Several popular effects such as echoes are also absent. A major flaw of the sound system is that the mixer is not given its own thread, so if the game stalls for too long, the small output buffer will begin to loop, a very noticeable artifact. This problem was also present in the Doom 3, Quake, and Quake 2 engines. Equals networking equals, it Tech 3 uses a snapshot system to relay information about game frames to the client over UDP. The server updates object interaction at a fixed rate independent of the rate clients update the server with their actions and then attempts to send the state of all objects at that moment to each client. The server attempts to omit as much information as possible about each frame, relaying only differences from the last frame the client confirmed as received. All data packets are compressed by Huffman coding with static pre-calculated frequency data to reduce bandwidth use even further. Quake 3 also integrated a relatively elaborate cheat protection system called Pure Server. Any client connecting to a Pure Server automatically has Pure Mode enabled, and while Pure Mode is enabled only files within data packs can be accessed. Clients are disconnected if their data packs fail one of several integrity checks. The CGAMEQVM file, with its high potential for cheat-related modification, is subject to additional integrity checks. Developers must manually deactivate pure server to test maps or mods that are not in data packs using the PK3 file format. Later versions supplemented pure server with Punk Buster support, though all the hooks to it are absent from the source code release because Punk Buster is closed source software and including support for it in the source code release would have caused any redistributors reusers of the code to violate the GPL. Equals virtual machine equals it Tech 3 uses a virtual machine to control object behavior on the server, effects and prediction on the client and the user interface. This presents many advantages as mod authors do not need to worry about crashing the entire game with bad code, clients could show more advanced effects and game menus than was possible in Quake 2 and the user interface for mods was entirely customizable. Virtual machine files are developed in ANSIC using LCC to compile them to a 32-bit RISC pseudo-assembly format. A tool called Q3 ASM then converts them to QVM files, which are multi-segmented files consisting of static data and instructions based on a reduced set of the input opcodes. Unless operations which require a specific NDRness are used, a QVM file will run the same on any platform supported by Quake 3. The virtual machine also contained bytecode compilers for the x86 and PowerPC architectures, executing QVM instructions via an interpreter. Eorquake 3 Eorquake 3 is a game engine project which aims to build upon the Tech 3 source code release in order to remove bugs, clean up source code and to add more advanced graphical and audio features via SDL and OpenAL. Eorquake 3 is also intended to act as a clean base package upon which other projects may be built. The game engine supports OGV4B's format and video capture of demos in RV format. The project was started shortly after the source code release with the goal of creating a bug-free, enhanced open-source Quake 3 engine source code distribution upon which new games and projects can be based. In addition, the project aims to provide an improved environment in which Quake 3, Arena, the Team Arena expansion pack and all the popular mods can be played. Notable features added by the project include built-in VoIP support, Anaglyph stereo rendering, and numerous security fixes. A full list of features is available on the project's website. Eorquake 3 has been the basis of several game projects based on the id Tech 3 engine, such as Open Arena, Tremulous, Smoking Guns, Urban Terror. Turtle Arena and World of Padman as well as game engine projects such as Ifport and Open Mohaw.
The engine and its associated games have been included in several Linux and BSD distributions. The Awkwake 3 project has also been used in the academic arena as the basis for a variety of research in institutions such as Stanford University's Center for Computer Research in Music and Acoustics, Notre Dame as the foundation for VIA research, and Swinburne University of Technology's Center for Advanced Internet Architectures. There are even collaborative efforts from researchers at Carnegie Mellon University and the University of Toronto that use Awkwake 3 as a platform for their published researches. Students have used Awkwake 3 as the basis for advanced graphics work for their theses, as well, such as Stefan Reiter's work which has even been noted at the LLVM project due to his synthesis of the Awkwake 3 engine, ray tracing rendering technique, and LLVM. Though the name Awkwake 3 is based on Ryan Iculus Gordon's site Iculus.org, Ryan does not lead the project. Instead, he maintains a mental role and provides hosting for the mailing lists and the SVN repository used by the project. The source code for the return to Castle Wolfenstein and Wolfenstein, Enemy Territory Engines was released under the GNU General Public License on August 12, 2010. The Awkwake 3 developers announced the start of respective engine projects soon after. Games using the engine equals games based on the source release equals open arena, an open source game based heavily on the Quake 3 Arena style death match. The Gamma play attempts to emulate Quake 3 Arena in that the play scores frags to win the game using a balanced set of weapons, each designed for different situations. Space Trader an action strategy game from Hermitworks Entertainment. Smoke and Guns, is intended to be a semi-realistic simulation of the Old West's atmosphere. Originally a Quake 3 modification, but became a standalone game. It has been ported back to a Quake 3 engine in 2009. Urban Terror up to version 4.2 a Euro a Quake 3 total conversion mod well designed and released to work with the retail software Quake 3. It is also compatible with open source engine alternatives. Tremulous Tremulous is a first person shooter with elements of real time strategy. Each team must construct and defend a base, consisting of structures which aid the players in some way. Like Smoke and Guns, it started as a mod, but as of 1.1 has become standalone. Equals games using a proprietary license equals, based on a Tech 3, Quake 3 Arena Euro ad software. Quake 3, Team Arena Euro ID Software. Star Trek, Voyager Euro Elite Force a Euro Raven Software, Star Trek, Voyager Euro Elite Force a Euro Expansion Pack a Euro Raven Software. Return to Castle Wolfenstein a Euro Grey Matter Interactive Slash Nerve Software, Soldier of Fortune 2, Double Helix a Euro Raven Software, Star Wars Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast a Euro Raven Software. Star Wars Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy a Euro Raven Software, Wolfenstein, Enemy Territory a Euro Splash Damage, Call of Duty a Euro Infinity Ward, Call of Duty, United Offensive a Euro Grey Matter Interactive Slash Tree Arch, Call of Duty Classic a Euro Infinity Ward, Severity a Euro Cyber Athlete Professional League, Iron Grip, Warlord a Euro Isart, Dark Salvation, Mangled Eye Studios, Quake Live, its software, using a Tech 3 with Alba tools, Heavy Metal, FAKK R Squared a Euro Ritual Entertainment, American McGee's Alice a Euro Rogue Entertainment, 007, Agent Under Fire a Euro EA Redwood Shores, Medal of Honor, Allied Assault a Euro 2015, Incorporated. Medal of Honor, Allied Assault a Euro Spearhead a Euro EA Los Angeles, Medal of Honor, Allied Assault a Euro Breakthrough a Euro TKO Software. Star Trek, Elite Force 2 a Euro Ritual Entertainment, 007, Everything or Nothing a Euro EA Redwood Shores. See also List of game engines, Fast Inverse Square Root, First Person Shooter Engine, IT Tech, IT Tech 1, IT Tech 2, IT Tech 4, IT Tech 5. References External links Official Attack 3 licensing page at the Wayback Machine, or Quake 3 project page, Quake 3 source code, Quake 3 source code, Quake 3 code review by Fabian Sumglad, Attack 3 full games list.